Hi viewers, welcome to Electrical Lectures YouTube channel. In this video, I will be telling you the method to design FIR and IIR filter with different parameters by using filter designer tool which we previously called FDA tool in the previous versions of MATLAB. I have already explained several differences between FIR and IIR filters in my previous DSP video. In this video, we will be focusing on how to design effectively the FIR and IAR filters of various kinds and export them by using MATLAB code or using objects. So first of all, I will be telling you how to open the graphical user interface or GUI to design the filters. In previous versions, this tool was called FDA tool, but now its name has been changed in the newer versions of MATLAB. I am using MATLAB 2019A. So here, the name of this tool is now filter designer. So I just type here filter designer and enter and MATLAB will open the tool. So this is the main interface of FDA tool or filter designer tool. You have got several types and several options in this interface. Let us start from the response type. Here you will select which type of filter you are going to design in terms of frequency response. So we have got five options here. The first one is low pass and Inside this low pass, you can also select any other, any other type. All these types are low pass but having different characteristics. The second one is high pass. Again, you have got three subtypes here. Third one is band pass. Next is band stop. And the last one is differentiator in which there are other specific types of filters which are not usually counted as the main four types including differentiator, multiband, Hilbert and etc. So let's suppose we are going to design low pass filter. So I have selected this low pass and this is basically the default selection given by MATLAB. The next option below response type is the design method. So here we will be selecting the type of design that we are going to choose. The two options include FIR and IAR. Inside each option, you have got several other options as well, which correspond to the prototype filter that MATLAB will use to design the filter. The, these prototypes include Butterworth, Chebyshev Type 1, Type 2, Elliptic Filters and others. So you have to select suitable type from this drop down list. Usually we opt for Equiripple filter and it is also the default selection. In case of IAR filter, you have got direct the names of those prototypes. Because while designing an FIR filter, you always start by designing IAR filter. So MATLAB adopts the same algorithm. It uses a specific prototype and designs an IAR filter and then transforms that IAR filter by using windowing method to design FIR filter. So anyways, if you are going to design FIR filter, you will select a suitable type from this drop down list. And if you are going to design IAR filter, then you will select suitable type from these options. Usually, again, we go for Butterworth unless we have to design a specific filter. The next option is filter order. We have got two options here. The first one is specify order and the other one is minimum order. So with the given specifications on the right hand side, MATLAB tries to design the filter with minimum possible order. And with the first option, if you want to specify the order yourself, then you have to select this option and supply a number over here. Like by default, 10 is written over here. You can write any whole number here which will specify the order. By using minimum order, MATLAB will restrict the order of the filter to minimum possible. This is usually a better option if you are going to design a filter that needs to be implemented in some hardware platform, then definitely you need to have minimum order and you have to select this option. The next option is density factor. 20 is written over here. And usually this factor works well for the design of the filter. Now on the right hand side, you have got the main specifications area. They include two types. The first one is frequency specifications and the other one is magnitude specifications. So first, let us go through frequency specifications. In the first drop down list, you have got units option. If you have your specifications in discrete frequency or in radians, then you need to select normalized 0 to 1 from this option. You see, when I have selected this, the sampling frequency option 
is already disabled, which means the specifications are already in the discrete frequency. So you do not need to specify the frequency. This is usually the easiest option if you don't have any idea regarding the sampling frequency. But if you have got the sampling frequency, then you need to select the other options. So if you are given the specifications in discrete frequency, then you have to supply the passband and stop band frequency between 0 to 1. So these numbers need to be replaced. And I will write here, for example, 0 0.2 is my passband frequency and 0 0.3 is my stop band frequency. Next one is magnitude specification. There are two options in the units category. You can select dBs or you can select linear. Usually we prefer dBs and inside these options you have got passband attenuation denoted by A pass and stop band attenuation which is A stop. The default values are 1 and 80 for both the passband and stop band respectively but you can modify these values as per your specifications. Now once all these values are selected now you have to click on this option which is design filter. So you see this is the magnitude response of our design filter and as you can see 0 0.2 pi radians per sample because the value was you have specified was 0 0.2 and it was normalized with pi. So it is actually 0 0.2 pi. So 0 0.2 pi is the pass band and 0 0.3 pi is the stop band and MATLAB has designed the filter having order of 50. You see this is the minimum order over which MATLAB is able to satisfy these specifications of the prescribed filter. Now let us change the frequency specifications to other options. Let's say I select kilohertz from here. When I select kilohertz, you see FS is now enabled. So now we need to write the value of sampling frequency in this box. And remember, you need to specify the sampling frequency by keeping one important point in mind. And that is the sampling frequency must be same as the sampling frequency of the data which you are going to filter by using this design filter. So let's say in our case it is 48,000. Let me change it to let's say 10. So it is 10 kilohertz and now the pass band and stop band frequency also in kilohertz. There is one important point that you need to consider over here that both the pass band and stop band frequencies must satisfy Nyquist criteria of the sampling frequency. So if the sampling frequency is 10 kilohertz, then maximum frequency uh, that we can write here is 5 kilohertz as per Nyquist criteria. So for example, I write 2 kilohertz here and 3 kilohertz here. So it will satisfy the Nyquist criteria. Now I click again the design filter and you see the x axis is now changed to kilohertz and 2 kilohertz is the passband frequency. 3 kilohertz is the stop band frequency and you see the order is now changed it is now 25 so it is the minimum order which MATLAB uh, could find to design this filter. Similarly you go for other options as well if you are going to design an IAR filter simply go over here design method you select IAR filter and Butterworth is automatically selected and now this option is now changed. Here now it is written match exactly. So you have two options. Either you can match stop band or pass band exactly. In the other one, you will experience ripples because it is Butterworth filter. Now with the same specifications, I will click design filter. And you see, this is the design filter by using Butterworth prototype. Now once the filter is designed, you can examine various features and parameters corresponding to this particular filter. To visualize all those parameters, you have to go in this bar. Currently, we have selected magnitude response. The next one is phase response. If you select this phase response, phase response of the filter is plotted. The next one is phase and magnitude combined. So you see both are combined on the same plot. The next one is the group delay response. So this is the group delay of this particular filter. The next one is phase delay. The next one is impulse response. This is very important. When you design a filter, you need to visualize the impulse response. And since we have designed an IAR filter, so you can see that impulse response is having length containing large number of samples. And theoretically, it contains 
in finite number of samples. The next one is step response. And because you, are, you have designed IAR filter, so it is very necessary to go through the pole zero plot in order to examine the stability of the system. So next one is the pole zero plot. So you see all the poles are lying inside the unit circle, which means that your filter is stable. So this pole zero plot is very significant and mandatory to examine so that you may know the stability analysis of your system. The next one is the values of numerator and denominator. MATLAB designs a filter by using second order sections by default. So you see in this window, the first one is section one containing three values for numerator, three for denominator, then section two and so on up to the last one is section eight. So since the design filter was of the order 16, so the total number of sections is eight. So it has designed by using eight second order sections cascaded with each other. Now, the last portion of my video is how to export this design filter. So you have got a couple of options to export this filter. If you want to uh, export it as a MATLAB code, then go into the file and ge click generate MATLAB code. And here it is written filter design function. You simply click on this option and it will ask you to save the corresponding M file into your directory. So let's suppose we save it into, into the MATLAB folder and name it as test filter and press enter. So you see it has made a function named test filter and all the parameters and the corresponding MATLAB code is over here. You simply need to run this code and you will get the filter structure in your workspace. I have run this code. The name of the variable is answer. You can save it by your desired name. For example, I save it like hd is equal to answer. So that is how. Now this hd is your filter structure. This was the first method of how to export. And now the second method, go again to the filter designer tool and click file. And from here, click export. When you click export, you will see another window in which you have got several options. The first one is export to workspace. You have got other options also. If you are going to export it to workspace, keep it as it is. The second one is export type. So by default, it is written coefficients over here. You can select objects as well. Usually we go for objects and then the name of the filter. So for example, we name it as HD underscore two. So here is another object named HD underscore two. Now you have already exported the filter into the uh, MATLAB workspace. If I want to simply um, filter, let's say a sequence of ones, just to show you how to use these objects to filter your data. So let's say I make an input data, which is ones, one comma thousand. In order to filter, I will simply write y is equal to filter hd comma x. So this data is successfully filtered. And if you want to see how both the uh, input and the output look like, you can use the plot function. So let me plot both of them in single figure. First, I will plot x. This is the input, which was all ones. And if I use hold on here and plot the output as well. So you see, this is the output. So this blue one is the input, which is all ones, and the red one is the output. So this is how you can design filters in MATLAB by using filter designer tool and how to export them, how to visualize them, and how to use them to filter your data. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel, Electrical Lectures.